Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have two very important breaking news stories uh, for you this morning. The first one here is dealing with End Times News Ministry. Pastor D has been arrested. I know Brother Paul Begley has been kind enough also to, to bring this out. Uh, there was a message sent to Brother Paul because uh, they, you know, speaking about we are also under this type of same threat here. Uh, we have, as Brother Paul says, we have been warned before to stop speaking against uh, the Vatican and their agenda that they're doing in the world. They're trying to silence those that are speaking out against it. Now, from what I understand about Pastor D, and I'm, I'm still very sketchy on this, we've had Pastor D on <laughs> our program before, uh, and Pastor D, when he was on our program before, it was because of... Uh, his stand on the Catholic Church. Now, Pastor D at that time, though, had been raided by the British uh, Secret Service agent there because he had gotten a hold of the encyclical, the Pope's encyclical, and had released it before it was released to the public. And the British didn't like this very well, so they raided his house. Ever since then, he's been a target. And from what they're saying in here, the Secret Service of the, of the British government infiltrated his church, etc. Uh, and then, you know, he said there was a whole list of articles that came out against him and his family trying to discredit them and defame them all across the world. And finally, he said they fled to Bulgaria. Uh, I think Brother Paul put Romania, but it's actually Bulgaria is where they fled to. And this is where uh, they began an orphanage there to try to help the children that were there, hoping that they would be safe from the threats. There had been threats against his life, according to the testimony that they give here on their channel. Uh, and now he has been arrested by an international arrest warrant from, uh, from uh, Britain and put in jail in Bulgaria. His family, uh, his wife, has no economic means to support herself, uh, nor the orphanage that they have started inside of Bulgaria. And so it's, it's become a, a tremendous struggle. And I want you to be able to hear a few, a few words of what his wife put up, a, a statement from uh, Pastor D to the world here, what he's going through here. Uh, but they do need financial help for his family, for his wife to be able to survive financially, as well as uh, for the legal fees that Pastor D has. And I know they have a GoFundMe page. Uh, actually, if you look under, in their description here on their video, show more, uh, you can see here uh, they have a GoFundMe here for the ministry. They do say in the video here that if you're going to contribute, if you wanted to go to his legal fees or to support, help support his wife, please specify because otherwise the GoFundMe page has been set up for uh, the the uh, ministry that he is doing in Bulgaria for all the children there. They had a they have a they had a goal there. I actually went to the GoFundMe page there, uh, and this is for helping of the uh, the children here. So far, they've raised 724 uh, pounds in this goal. But this is specifically for these children. I don't know if there is another way to be able to give to them. And so I would encourage you to contact them directly if you decide you want to help out in this. If God lays that on your heart. Uh, they do have their Facebook page in Time Ministries. You can see as well here. Uh, that you can see more about Pastor D, the things that are going on maybe. But you can also email. They have office at End Times Ministry. Excuse me, End Time endtimesnewsministry.com you can email them as well as well as their Twitter account uh, and try to find out more about what's going on or maybe a well way to directly uh, send money to them to help them out in these financial times uh, especially under the duress of Pastor D being in jail a minister of the gospel put in jail no doubt under false accusations and I can only I can attest to this for Pastor D because you know, he told me what was happening to him months and months ago. And I was just shared with by a person recently that knows a lot about intelligence on things that uh, what they will do, if they can get into your computer and stuff, which they can by you downloading a PDF or them sending you an email and you open an email, they can then get control of your computer and load all kinds of pornography in there. And then the next thing you know, they come in there and accuse you of child pornography and 
they find stuff on your computer files and blame you and then the people are really innocent. I don't know if this is what happened to Pastor D. I have no idea what they have done to him in order to do this, but these are some of the dirty tricks that get done and so I wanted to make you aware of that. Let me have you listen just a little bit to what his wife says here uh, speaking about him while he is in uh, jail in Bulgaria. Listen to this please. May God bless you all, and I trust that you will receive this in the spirit of truth and love. For over 18 months there has been attempts to silence me. This started when I was leaked and went on to expose, before its release, the encyclical on the environment by Pope Francis last June. Knowing that it and the United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda, which followed to be the framework for the New World Order Antichrist system. I have relentlessly exposed it, and so, and the homosexual and trans agenda to be the tool used to make true Christians the enemy. A smear campaign followed, bad-mouthing Anna and I, in over a hundred newspapers worldwide as evil hate mongers. During this time, an MI5 agent infiltrated my church to profile me and the influence I was in relation we'll, to... We'll actually Europe. post the, the rest of the... Uh, uh, we'll post the link here that uh, Anna has posted on his website there for you guys to be able to listen to yourself. That's just to give you a little insight there. And I do know that 18 months ago is about the time that Pastor Dave actually came onto our channel and we interviewed him about what he went through there uh, with the uh, leaked document. Now, he never hacked this himself. He shared that with me. Uh, it was given to him. He put it out to the world uh, before Pope Francis did. That upset the Catholic Church that it got put out to the world. But you know that's happened more than once. But you know it's funny though they didn't they didn't put the other reporter in jail that did that. Uh, you know they're targeting him because he is a Christian. Now he also as as, he, as they stated there he speaks out against the gay community as well. Um, and this is I I have no idea for sure what they have done or why, but. That might be what they have charged him for on hate speech because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think in Britain it is considered a hate crime and you cannot speak out against uh, the gay community. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, again, I'm not really sure what's going on in the background with all of this. I just wanted to share this with you guys so that you would be aware of what's happening. And... Um, uh, you know, anything you can do to help this family out, I'm sure they would greatly appreciate it. Again, pray about the matter and see how God leads you. Um, you know, we want to do something ourselves to help them because, you know, I, I know his wife, how will she survive without the help? And, you know, we face the same threats. We, I've been threatened with my life for speaking out against Rome, flat out. I would be killed. And from what I understand, they threatened him the same way. So it is real. And I know for a fact mine came from the top. So uh, we know that these type things are real. These are things that you face in a world where you think you have freedom of speech, but you do not have freedom of speech. They're trying to bring this new world order in, and they're willing to silence anybody that goes against this hegemony that they want to do. Uh, this is one reason why I appreciate the stance that Vladimir Putin has done because he said he's going against the New World Order. Uh, you know, I think at one time maybe Putin was part of this and willing to go along with it, but once he began to realize the evil of this system and the hegemony that the Catholic Church wanted to have over the entire world, he even came against it as well. Uh, so I don't know which direction these things are going to go in uh, at this point here, but it is getting to a place where we may not have the ability to speak and say the things that God lays upon our heart, not openly anyway. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.